We begin with a developing story out of Pinellas County that everyone is talking about. A man struck by lightning at Clearwater Beach. This happened just afternoon near Frenchie's Rockaway Grill. That bolt injured at least eight people. Four of them taken to Morton Plant Hospital, and that is where we find eight on your side's Marco Villarreal, who kicks off our live team coverage tonight. And Marco, this is a bad day at the beach for so many. Bring us up to speed. Well, good evening, Rod. Good evening, Melanie. Of the four people that were brought here to this hospital, firefighters say one of those, a man, was the man hit directly by lightning, and tonight he is in critical condition. Well, when we first got here, it was all sunny, and then the, the clouds started coming in and the wind started going. It's a typical summer day in Florida. Hot, sunny, with a high chance of afternoon thunderstorms. Dark, heavy clouds rolled in Sunday afternoon around 1230 at Clearwater Beach. Families started packing up. I seen them walking across the thing, and then the lightning just came out of nowhere, and it hit dead square. At the volleyball courts behind Frenchie's Rockaway Grill, eight people felt an electric shock from above. One girl started acting funny like... The one guy said he couldn't feel his hand. Customers inside the restaurant and others nearby jumped into action as rain pounded down on top of them. Uh, the one gentleman that got directly hit, um, his whole shirt was burnt. So there was like actually no material was lightning struck him. It was just a burnt hole. Witnesses say an off-duty police officer and a nurse helped bring victims into the restaurant and started giving CPR. First responders from the fire station one parking lot away showed up in minutes. It's, it's the best thing that, that we could hope for um, with the victims because aid was started immediately on the victims as opposed to having to wait the, the you know, two or three minutes for our crews to get en route and get on scene. And we spoke with hospital officials earlier this evening. They tell us three of the four are in good condition. That fourth individual in critical condition. And Rod Melanie, a fifth person, was taken to Tampa General with burns. Back to you. All right, Marco Villarreal, live for us tonight in Clearwater. Marco, thank you. All right, lightning is something that we all see on a regular basis here in the Tampa Bay area, of course. And we have a few eight on your side tips to keep in mind so you and your family stay safe. If you hear thunder, go indoors. No place outdoors is safe when thunderstorms are in the area. You'll also want to stay in a safe shelter for at least 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder can be heard. And once you are inside, stay off corded phones or computers, avoid your sinks, bathtubs, or faucets, and stay away from windows and doors, and do not lean against concrete walls. Here's something else you may not have known. The state of Florida ranked number one for lightning-related deaths from 2009 until last year, 2018. That's according to the National Weather Service. They tell us 49 people died from lightning strikes during that time frame. Texas came in at number two with 20 deaths.